All right, let's get a check of that full forecast now with meteorologist Jordan Smith. We're having another nice day to kind of end our weekend, especially after everything from Friday. This weekend has really been beautiful. Yeah, it has. And if you check the shot out behind me here from downtown Lexington, yeah, it looks great. It is a beautiful evening in store as again, folks continue that storm cleanup. And as the storm cleanup will continue for, you know, it's going to take several more days, uh, even weeks for everybody to get back to normal. But the next few days look pretty, pretty good here. A little bit chillier as we get past tomorrow, but at least it's dry. So that is certainly good news. Again, beautiful sunset here over downtown Lexington. Absolutely beautiful temperatures setting at 55 degrees here in Lexington. So still not too bad here as the sun begins to set. We officially hit 63 degrees this afternoon, which is 11 degrees above our average high for this time of year of 52. We started the day out just above freezing. It was our chilliest morning in quite some time, and that was exactly normal there. Thankfully, we did not get close to that record of negative two set back in 1960. Across the entire area, mid to some upper 50s here in central Kentucky, 58 in Frankfort, 55 in Lexington, 55 in Richmond, 55 in Moorhead. And then you go down towards Southern Kentucky, take a trip down I-75, and you're still in the low 60s. 63 in Somerset, 64 in London, and 63 down there in Williamsburg. If we take a look at our region, look at Nashville here at 6 o'clock, or really 5.30 Central Time, but still, they are still sitting at 70 degrees, 69 in Jackson, 68 down there in Jonesboro. So if you have any travel plans outside of the state this evening, you are in good shape to go there as well. Good shape on Max HD radar. Nothing for the entire state of Kentucky. And again, we're going to continue to keep it that way. Even if you need to, again, need to travel outside of the state, we are still in good shape across every state that borders Kentucky is not dealing with anything either. Now let's take a look at future cash. Track out the next couple of days. Tomorrow starts into the mid to upper 40s, but just wait. Let's get to the afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, we are 70 to 75 underneath a mostly sunny sky. Some high, thin, cirrus clouds are possible, but it is a fantastic day for those power crews to continue working, working very hard, and all the damage crew that everybody continues to clean up from Friday storms. Now let's fast forward that into Tuesday. Tuesday looks good. We'll, we'll be chilly because the boundary will be dipping in from the north. Highs on Tuesday are into the 50s with a few more clouds into the picture. We go into the day on Wednesday. Highs will drop into the upper 40s. So we're starting to see that tear down a little bit with mostly cloudy skies there on Wednesday. But once we go into late on Thursday, see some showers here in western Kentucky. They will continue here for central and eastern Kentucky and then Friday looks like a pretty rainy day, maybe a rumble or two of thunder, but it's a chilly rain with temperatures that'll be into the upper 40s to low 50s. By the time we head into Saturday, we could be talking about a northwest flow. You see these streaks here of clouds. There could be some snow showers and some snow flurries underneath that as we head into the day on Saturday. So that's something that we'll have to keep on guard. Over the next two weeks, the bull's eye of below average temperatures is set up right over us here in Kentucky and points to the northwest from there. So we are heading into more of a wintertime look and feel over the next couple of weeks. Here in the short term tonight, low 40s, mainly clear, chilly conditions. Tomorrow on our Monday, low 70s overall. A very perfect day. Quick look at that seven day forecast will show that we will continue the dry streak, but temperatures will go down 73 tomorrow, 55 Tuesday, 48 Wednesday, and then we'll keep it chilly for the end of the week with that next system coming for rain. And then we continue to drop it down just past this seven day forecast. We could be looking at much colder temperatures. Stay with us.